IT, forging IT security experts. Secure Ninja. Hi, I'm Michael Vienne with Secure Ninja TV, and we're here wrapping up our coverage at Defcon, Defcon 21. And I'm here today talking with Danny Ford. He was a part of Defcon Kids, and he participated in some of the events. We're going to talk to him about those. You may recognize his name as Dan Ford is his father, and we've spoke with him many times. So how are you doing today, Danny? I'm doing fine. Okay, so you were doing Defcon Kids. So how'd you like it as an overall experience? I thought it was pretty fun. I had I learned a lot of stuff at DEF CON and I just had a great time. Do you think other kids should come to DEF CON? Do you think that they would enjoy it and learn things as well? Yeah, I think a lot of kids would enjoy it because it's a fun experience. So learning new stuff and getting to use it. Do you think kids need to start off being super technical to come here or can they, you know, just be casual computer users, come here and learn stuff? All I think the kids need to learn is just uh, basic security stuff so they know what to use and all the technical terms that the, the, um, they use. Okay. So uh, so some of the things you did today, or did at DEF CON this week, um, at Lockpick Village, right, and you went to a bunch of talks. So what did you like most about Lockpick Village? Well, the success of the lockpicking, it's just really fun. Just, you feel so succeeded once you pick the lock. What do you think you're going to do with that particular skill set later on? Uh, I think I'm just going to practice it. And what lock picking gets my mind set on, like, like, um, like password cracking and stuff like that. So when I learn how to pick the lock and succeed, it just gets my mind set on breaking into a password. Yeah, it's a puzzle, right? So you just get to play with it and work out the puzzle, right? Yep. So, uh, what other talks did you go to? Did you go to any ones that really you were really excited about? Any ones that really struck you? Uh, DDoSing and just learning how to defend myself against hackers. Okay. And you uh, had a bit of hacking experience prior to coming here today. Why don't you tell us that story? Well, there's a game called Star Maid that I played in. Like I figured out that you only need the user username to get into people's accounts. So what I'd do is I'd go on a server, find the admins, and when they got offline, I could always I could just put in their username, get on the server, and I'd have all the commands like slash ban, kick, kill, and I could just screw the server up if I wanted to. Well, so it's outside of the DDoS. Uh, what other talks really? did you enjoy? Was there anything that you would encourage other kids to come and learn? Um, I think that a lot of kids would like just learning about internet security. Are you planning on coming back next year? Yes, absolutely. It was really fun. I had a great time. It was my first year at DEF CON. I'm definitely coming back. And are you planning on participating in any of the contests next year for the kids? Uh, I might. I don't know. I probably will. So it was a pleasure talking to you today, and I'm glad you had fun here at DEF CON, and I hope you have even more fun next year. And this is Danny Ford. I'm Michael Vien for Security Ninja TV. We're wrapping up our uh, coverage here at DEF CON 21. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have plenty more coming throughout the year. I'm Michael Vien. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com, forging IT security experts.